Welcome, welcome, welcome. Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, okay. You guys in your manly energy, Capricorns. You feeling it? You feeling it? Feeling it? Bum, 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 bum. All right. Okay. Okay, my little Capricorns. Week three, May, twenty twenty one. Let's see. Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Week three, May. May week three, 2021. Ooh, I just thought of Memorial Day weekend. I'm excited. Maybe you guys are going away. I am camping. Annual camping trip. But I thought of it. So I don't know if you're preparing for Memorial Day weekends. I mean, obviously, um, this card didn't want to get picked up. I mean, some people do things, so you're possibly planning. Surrender. I release the need to control, so I don't know if you're trying to control a situation or this is somebody who's about to surrender because these are lessons, right? So it's clearly one or the other. All right, Capricorn, current energy. What he or she is thinking. She is thinking. Damn. Holy shit. You got the Two of Cups, the Chariot, the Emperor Reverse. You got the Six of Wands upright. So this is somebody who wants to go in a new direction, but is like blocking it. It's pissed off. This is someone who's pissed off that something didn't go in their direction. That is for sure. Aries, Cancer. Strong vibes right now. This is like leader. This is this is this is an Aries. This is this is exactly what this is. This is somebody who needs to surrender. So this isn't somebody who's quite yet doing it yet. This person definitely is like aggravated. Something did not go in their direction. Clear as day. They thought they had something in the bag. What you don't see coming. You guys kind of all you Earth signs kind of have the same vibe. It's, it's like blocking a situation right now. Okay. This is somebody who couldn't... It's almost like somebody who couldn't open up. There's a big argument coming. Possible outcome. This is, to me, this is somebody who wanted to... Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who wanted to fucking win it. All right, let's see what he's looking at. One more for this King of Wands. What is this King of Wands looking at? Yeah, this is somebody who was like, fuck, I fucked up. It's the same vibe I got in um, Taurus and Virgo, too. All right, so current past energy. Two days ago, two weeks ago. Tower. All right. This this is like, someone said no. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing because my energy is kind of like good right now and I, I just thought I'm on my old day weekend and I'm pumped. And But then somebody around you, whatever this is, is like, what the actual fuck? Can't believe this didn't go in my direction. Clear as day, you're dealing with somebody who was straight up fucking arrogant. Somebody who thought they had it in the bag. And not to mention, I will tell you though, with um, Taurus, it was kicking themselves in the ass. And Virgo, it was, I just named it. It's, yeah, I told you so. Like, I told you so. I told you so energy. But I don't think, you know, you're going to be like, I told you so. You might. This is, so you called something out. You already told this person how something was going to go down and, you know, their arrogance got in the way. Damn. Damn. This is somebody who's unstable. This is somebody who's pissed off. Yeah. 
I think it was like, you might, it's the same vibe. You might be like, told you so. This idea and a thought of talking. Like, yep, huh, fuck you. I told you. I mean, I hate to say it. So we got a vibe here. Whole nother group that's good. I know it. I feel it, the energy. You're in that other energy of like, you're in that energy where I, I said to you guys with the weekly video that uh, got to learn how to like control it, but it was good energy. You know what I mean? So you might want to take a jog later or something. This is like, you're going to have a big smile. It's like, <laughs> it's like a big smile. Like you're getting, like I fucking, you guys aren't assholes. I mean, you can be fucking assholes. Okay. All right. Tell me about the seven of ones. Right now you're like, nope. Go kick rocks. Yeah, this is somebody who didn't put energy into something. This is also somebody who wants a new stat. You know what's ironic? I'm not going to lie to you. Every single earth sign, you had a man in this position. So this looks like, again, a masculine that didn't put energy into something or currently is not putting energy into something. They're dealing with somebody who's very smart, practical. This energy won't share. This is sharing. This energy won't fucking share jack shit. I'll tell you that. But this is somebody that's like, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Tell me about the tower. There's some arguing. You know, you know, I just came to me. Biggie, what's beef? Beef is when you're 10 feet deep. That's the only line I remember right now. This person. <laughs> oh, I, oh my God. This, I, I cannot believe I'm over here giggling. I'm not an asshole. You know, but this is like all the other vibes. Like you had something in the bag. This is an energy that messed up and now kicking themselves in the ass. And it's like you told them. I do like that they're not putting energy into something. So I kind of feel like they're not giving anymore. And I don't know if that's you guys or not. Because I have a majority, a good majority of... Um, it's, it's, it's usually like more or less like feminine energy. Yeah. Take them off. All right. Have fun. Okay. You can leave that open. I'll go upstairs after this. All right. All right have fun. So, <clears throat> sorry about the interruption. My dad's taken off. For a couple days, parents, we're going to the Cape, big fishing expedition. See what I'm saying? Like, he's pumped. He's ready to go. There's, there's, and this is somebody who's, like, pissed off. See, I tell you that I can feel both the energies. That's why I keep saying to you I'm not trying to laugh because this might be really hard for some of you guys to suck up. But I'm thinking not. I don't know why. The ones that are going through this, yes, I apologize. And I, I do hope the energy gets better for you. But the thing is, you try to control the situation and it backfired. Okay? It's, it's fucking clear as day. So, it, it's just, it is what it is. <sighs> Tell me about this tower. Yeah, see, they're done investing in a situation. Or they invested in the wrong situation is what happened. Yeah guilt, regret, it's just somebody who's sorry, you know, whatever this card's a straight up challenge, because it's sidewards, I know sidewards is not a word, but it's in my dictionary, all right, yeah, could have even been a family scenario, that it's just, it's, it's no longer long term, no longer waiting around, empress, yeah, so even even like a feminine got pissed here. Feel stabbed in the back. So now somebody is clearly moved. Oh yeah, see Empress Emperor. So there was a marriage. I don't know if this is you or somebody else. There's always other people, whether there's friends, doesn't mean everybody's sleeping with somebody. But clearly clearly there was a family dynamic. 
or just, you know, not happy anymore. Yeah, see, this is somebody who's really, really upset. Could be someone who's not showing their emotions. Somebody who doesn't want to be vulnerable. Somebody who doesn't want to surrender. Somebody who can't stand when something's out of their control. So now they're all up in their emotions. This is a lesson, but clearly I don't see any lesson being learned yet. I'm not going to lie to you. That's like a little lesson. This is more like something didn't go my way, you know? Yeah, there's that ego. Didn't work out. Didn't go in that direction. But someone's still going to try to hit you up. Or vice versa. Hoping something's still going to go in their direction. This is somebody from your past that wants to come back and maybe commit now and give you something. But this was the same exact energy that sat here in the Virgo read. You might want to watch all these because they all tie together and they're all a little different. Like similar messages, but you can tell how something's going down a little differently. But this is something that came to a complete halt because there's a masculine here that just didn't take charge. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I feel like an asshole for laughing. I'm not lying. If this might work out. You might take this person back. I, I don't know. I'm just saying in general, like the chariot reverse could be dealing with a strong cancer or Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Aquarius, any, anyone. It's just, it's so strong. Pisces um but this is like came to a complete halt didn't work out and now this person's like shit how do I get it back how do I get it back unless this is an energy of like I'm definitely fucking done whether you want a second chance or not but what can possibly happen here with the ace of pence and the six of cups what can possibly happen here You got the runner. So codependent, still listening to their ego. So nothing right off the rip at the bottom of the deck. You do have this relationship is over, no second chances. So their past could have came back and said, I want a chance, and they put a halt to it. I kind of felt that here, so the energy is simmering down. But someone still messed up somewhere. And not in this and not just in this scenario either. All right, what you don't see coming, this is a major argument too. Could have a feminine spying on a masculine right now too. This is somebody trying to figure out, after I hurt somebody, how do I get them back? Yeah, see, stab in the back, headache, pain. How do I get them back? Same, just exactly what I just said to you. Um, tell me about the alchemist. What type of intentions does the magician have? Let's just say that real quick. Because with the five of swords being right there, that's not the greatest intentions. But stability, security, growth, flexibility, growth, security, yada, yada. I'm repeating. So they have good intentions right now. So whoever's trying to manifest and have the strength to face something has good intentions. So now I kind of feel bad for laughing. I, I mean, see what I'm saying? I just have a lovely heart, you know, so I'm just kind of like, oh. But it doesn't mean that there's going to be change, complete change. I don't see anybody changing. Something had to come to a complete halt because somebody still tried to control the situation that they, you know what I'm saying? So this is like feeling free and liberated, like wanting to like just manifest out uh, elsewhere after kind of being hurt. So it's not telling me who's really who, but this is kind of like what you don't see coming, someone breaking free from a situation. It's, it's going to be a lot of chaos in that little what you don't see coming at you. Yeah, see somebody who doesn't want to juggle anymore. Well, you want to know why? They can't. They're getting a smackdown. 
And you might have even taught him a lesson. But this is somebody who's like still dealing with the weight. They didn't they still didn't lay it down. This is somebody who's losing hope. And I could see why. You know, like this is a complete shutdown. So you definitely have a mask on losing hope over here. Yeah, see, they're they're making a decision right now. So somebody, husband, wife, I don't think that's it. I think that's that other energy is not doing anything. This is why this person's losing hope, but they're still going to come in, make a decision. They, it's like free bird. I want you back. So possible outcome if you want this person back, because something is definitely shut down and then there's something else going on. Person plays a thing. So if you do possibly want this back, this is somebody too that's like, if I take this on, that's too many, but let, let me get an idea. This is also somebody too, if I take this on, it's more of a spiritual path. Someone could have shut something down because of spirituality, but it normally wouldn't be in this position. Self-indulgence, self-worth, hammer, sabotaging or trying to rebuild. We got soulmates and I like you. Someone likes you, something's going to bloom. Soul connection, partnership contract so yeah so some of you might the person I think who's going to end up with this person is not on the board and I, I hate to say that because some of you are going to be like huh so if there's like a family dynamic a marriage kids or somebody something like that's that's over but this is like somebody who's like kind of like a good match for you. I like you soulmates, you know, learning self-worth. So someone is learning a lesson, but this will not happen overnight clearly. Okay. Somebody purposely could have sabotaged the situation, but now wants to work on it. So I don't know who she is. She's probably this person. Again, you might want to go watch Virgo because that's where she stood too. When this energy is upright, it's very outgoing, adventurous, carefree, passionate, not letting anything get the best of you. Like, you're ready, you're a go-getter. You know, it's kick-ass energy. And right now, you're not putting, you're putting zero energy into something, and this person's losing hope. But that something was meant to go down the way it did. Now, there's a family dynamic here, too. This energy could have been blocking this person. This energy could have gave this person bad advice because they wanted this energy to, to feed this energy. This is like drama, unfortunately. Somebody who constantly wanted to work on something, something wasn't going in their direction. Because this is somebody who's not blocking somebody because they was... This is somebody who was seeing something. So I, I really feel like this energy caused some drama, right? And then somebody clearly went within and realized what was going down. Yeah, this is somebody who, who kind of lied, just didn't want to be left out of a situation. Because I, I feel like this Queen of Sword, Queen of Swords definitely blocked, um, talked shit. Gave somebody really bad advice. Yeah, look at the snake. It's the first one that wanted to come out, and then all the others dropped. Okay, so clever woman. So this is this is again this is somebody. It was competition. Somebody didn't want somebody to have somebody, and they were blocking a situation. But you know what? Guess what? The tower came in, and and now it, it is what it is. They somebody there's a masculine that's no longer putting effort into it. Somebody's picking up on something, but still has to go through a, a big challenge to let this energy go. Yeah, see, it's like the tower, sudden change, shocking news. All right, I'll clarify a lot more over on Patreon, so I will see you guys on the other side. Um, for those who are just joining Patreon, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can get all 12 videos. You actually get 13 because um, I do a soul contract every week for $2 a week. 
and it gives you a little more insight, okay? Um, besides that, if you're just new to the channel, welcome. I'm Courtney, all right? And hang in there, you know. Um, I hope you guys have a kick-ass week, and I'll see you. I'll see you on Patreon, okay? Um, if you are this person that's not showing up in all this, I do feel like you have some type of spiritual connection going on. Like someone's more spiritual than they're leading on. But is losing hope, but hoping. Well, not hoping, losing hope. More pissed off at themselves. This is also somebody, again, that liked control and didn't go in their direction. This is not somebody right now that's like, oh my God, regret. This is somebody who needs to sacrifice something. They need to let something go. But is is you holding on to something unhealthy anyway? It, it's not like you're making a huge sacrifice. And for some reason in the back of someone's head, they feel like they're making a massive sacrifice. Somebody wanted their cake and eat it too. Put it that way. Whoever was together first, the family, they both wanted their cake and eat it too. Any hoozy. Have an awesome week. Bye, guys.